Welcome to Befoit's Introduction to Computer Programming website. This is a short screencast overview of the third lesson, pseudocode. In the first lesson, you learned about the gap between us humans and our native languages and a computer and its native language. In these lessons, we are learning to program with Logo, a high-level programming language. It is about as close as we can get to the English language. But the version of Logo we are using only knows approximately 150 words, which is much less than you or I know. And it has some strange punctuation rules. In this lesson you will see how to use English to get you a step closer to the Logo code you will write. Pseudocode uses structural concepts of computer programming along with a native language. We are going to use pseudocode combined with an age-old method for solving math problems, George Polya's steps which he outlines in his book How to Solve It. His steps are understanding the problem, devising a plan, carrying out the plan, and looking back. Let's work through an example. It has to be very simple to keep this screencast short. Let's get the turtle to draw a bow tie. To understand the problem, what our logo program will consist of, I'll just sketch an example of a crude artistic rendition of a bow tie. So it looks like we need to get the turtle to draw two triangles, each a sort of reflection of the other. I think we now understand what the program needs to do. We've completed the first step or phase. Next, I'll devise a plan. I'll describe what I'm going to do in English as logo comments in TG's editor. So first, let's give our program a name. First step will be to initialize. It means something like clear the screen. Uh, make sure turtle is at home. Things like that. Next, we will draw the triangle to the right of the home position. Our final step will be to hide the turtle, make it invisible, and that completes the second phase, which was devising a plan for our program. So now it's time for carrying out the plan. I'll convert the pseudocode to logo instructions. Home, clean, set, heading zero, set pen, color, Six, set pen size 10. One great thing about logo programming environments is that they are highly interactive. Since I do not know the angles and the lengths of the legs of the triangle I need, I'll just experiment. Go into the command center. bring up our bow tie we're trying to match. Okay, right, 45, four, forward, 
One is 50. No. Not enough angle, not enough length. How about right 15 more? Forward 200. Almost. Let's go 50 more. Right 90. That's not enough. Right. Oh, about 30 more. That looks good. Forward 200. A little bit more. That yeah, looks good. Now we can just go home and we've got the first triangle done. Now I can use the results of this experimentation to fill in the remaining logo instructions. I've now completed the translation from pseudocode to logo. Let's see how it looks. Window, Editor, Interpret. Looks pretty good to me. The pseudocode lesson will walk you through writing a program that draws the collection of boxes exercised from the previous lesson. Go to it, and remember, have fun.